This is the LiveNX topology view. Now the big circles represent devices and the little circles within represent interfaces to be able to really understand fully the network topology that you're dealing with. Now in this particular scenario, we're isolating a Cisco jabber or a voice call going through the system. Now by simply clicking on the table view, we're able to bring up the table of all of the flows that are made up in this particular view. Now by simply double clicking on one of these flows, we're able to dive in very specifically to understand the path that this conversation took. Now we see that this conversation took three hops within the network. The first hop is this 2921 Cisco router. Everything looks fine. The application is RTP for real-time protocol and the CPU utilization is fairly good throughout the system. It's getting a little high on certain routers, but still it's okay. There's the interfaces that this conversation is taking, as well as the QoS policy in line with this flow. So notice on that first hop, there is a QoS policy. It's a WAN shaping policy connected off to the service provider, and it's dropping packets. We see that because it's showing up as orange. There's the performance data that we get, jitter values, as well as packet loss. And notice that packet loss is really where the problems are with this particular voice call. Yeah. DSCP values as well, hop by hop through the system, EF on that first hop, but we're losing the markings downstream after it hits the service provider and getting to our next site. So that's definitely an issue. Click show path, moment of truth. We're able to see it's green through the first hop, but again, it's red starting off in that next hop. So LiveNX is able to really provide that quick mean time to repair, to isolate the problem, and you can use quality of service to further troubleshoot and correct the issues. So I hope this brief demonstration helps you to see the value LiveNX brings in troubleshooting voice and video and resolving these quality of experience issues. To try LiveNX yourself, go to www.liveaction.com slash download.